hello guys we are on 2.1 2.1 says solve for x there then we have 2.1.1 uh, we are given that equation for four marks okay let's try it we are using something of this magnitude and we are requested to solve for x okay when we solve for x here we will start by taking uh, this 14x to the other side okay then i will arrange it like this 15x squared uh, when it comes to this side, we are going to have negative 14x, negative 8x like that, okay? I have arranged it in a standard form, okay? Whereby you are having a, b, and c, okay? a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is a constant there, okay? Then you, you can see that we are having a quadratic equation in there, okay? Uh, then we are, we are requested to solve for x there, okay? Then we need to factorize here, okay? We are having x here, we are having x there, we are not having x here. Then it means we cannot take out a common factor, okay? Then it means here we need two binomials there, okay? For us to factorize uh, this equation here, okay? Whatever sits here and there, it should give us 15x squared there, okay? We know that for us to get x squared there, we need x. We need x there, okay? Now we need to find the factors of 15 there, okay? That are going to be suitable for us here, okay? Factors of 15, we have 1, we have we have 3, we have 5, uh, we have 15 itself there, okay? Then 1 multiplied the one multiply the 15 in there we get 15 okay it means we can also choose 1 and 15 but when you check 1 and 15 uh, uh, 15 is a bigger number okay when it sits here it means here we're going to have one there okay and this 15 is going to affect whatever number is going to be here okay and remember the middle term we had we're having 14 14 is not that uh, big okay then if we have 15 here it's going to affect whatever number which is it's going to be here okay then we are going to try this one because this one uh, 3 multiplied by 5 it gives us 15 and in this uh, these two numbers they are simply uh, small okay then here we are going to put it there 5 here we are going to put it there the 3 there okay then we are going to have we are going to have 5 and 3 there okay then now we need uh, the factors of 8 there okay we need factors of 8 well, for us uh, for, for us to factorize this we need to know the factors of 8 we are having 1 we are having 2 we are having 4 and 8 there okay then we know that whatever sits here and there whatever sits here actually is going to be affected by this okay this 15 is going, i mean this 5 is going to multiply whatever is here okay this uh, whatever sits here is going to is going to be multiplied to uh, to three there okay to give us a uh, 14 there okay then here you are having one and eight okay which are factors of eight when you multiply one and eight they give us eight there okay then if we can have eight here and have one there okay we're going to say one multiplied by eight it gives us eight there okay but this five is going to multiply the eight there okay then when we, we multiply five by eight there five multiplying the eight there we get 40 okay then we are going to get 40x okay this 5x going to multiply the 8x there we get the 40x this one is going to multiply the, the 3x there then we get the 3x okay then you can see that 40x subtracting the 3x it, it cannot give us the the negative 14 okay even if you can say 40x plus 3 it, it cannot give us the uh, the negative 14 there okay then it means a uh, eight here is a better idea, okay? Then we can try we can try one here and eight there, okay? Then we are going to have five x multiplying the one there it gives us five x, okay? Then we're going to have eight multiplying the three. The 3x there, 8 multiplying the 3x there, we have the 24, okay? 24x, okay? Uh, 5x subtracting the 24x, it gives us 9, negative 19, okay? When we say 5, 
5 uh, subtracting the 24 is going to give us negative 19 there, okay and here we are not having negative 19 we're having negative 14 okay then it means 8 1 and 8 they bet uh, factors which you can use here okay they don't suit us here then it means the factors that we must take are 4 and 2 okay it means we must try 4 and, and 2 there okay then here we can try the 4 here we can try the 1 okay here we are still having x okay you are going to say 5x multiplying the the 4 there are going to have 20x okay 1 1 multiplying 1 multiplying the 3 there no here it should be it should be 2 okay Sorry for that here it should be 2 because we are going to have 2 multiplied by 4 it gives us 8 there okay then here we are going to say 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3x they are going to have 6x okay you can you can see that 20x subtracting the 6x we get 14 okay but here we need to get the negative 14 okay it means that the bigger one should get negative then it means uh, the 20 there should be negative then the the, the 6 should be a positive there because negative 20x plus 6x is going to give us negative 14 there okay since we got 20 by multiplying 5x with, with 4 there it means here we should have negative and here we should have positive okay when you multiply 5x with negative 4 we're going to get negative uh, 20x there when you multiply 2 positive 2 with 3x we're going to have plus 6x there okay and when uh, we execute them we're going to to, to have negative one for uh for the negative 14 x there okay then two multiplying the negative four they get negative eight okay then it means we have factorized uh, correctly here okay <coughs> then uh, now we are good to go we are having two brackets uh two binomials multiplying each other and we are having zero there okay then it means we can use the zero flow whereby a uh, one of uh, one or both of the bracket they equal to zero okay then you're going to have 5x plus 2 being equals to 0 or 3x subtracting the 4 being equals to 0 there okay and here we're going to remove the algebra take these two to the other side we're going to have 5x being equals to negative 2 then we divide by 5 we divide by 5 then our x this side is negative 2 so for that is negative 2 over 5 okay then this side we are still having 3x we take this 4 to the other side it's going to be positive then we divide by 3 we divide by 3 then our x here is 4 over 3 okay then we're having it like that okay then with this type of question okay we should never get it wrong okay whatever we got here we are going to plug it on the original equation to see if uh, the equation balance okay then we said our x is negative 2 over 5 okay then on the left hand side whenever we see x we substitute negative 2 over negative 2 over 5 there okay then we're going to say 15 into negative 2 over 5 then we're having the square root there subtracting the, the 8 then it gives us uh, it gives us it gives us negative 28 over 5 there okay that is the left hand side okay then we go to the right hand side okay where we see x we substitute the, the same value there then we're going to say 14 into negative 2 over 5 there okay then we see what we get then we we get the, 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 the same value as the left hand side then it means our x, x value should be correct okay then we are good to go okay we started somewhere there we took this 14 to the other side and we arranged them in a standard form then we try to factorize here okay here we choose 5 and 3 because they they are smaller than the 15 and 1 okay 15 is too big is going to affect us a lot here okay then for 8 we also choose 2 and 4 okay and a specific value 4 should be here because we, we wanted a negative 20 there when you multiply it here and here we needed a uh, we needed a 6 so that they subtract they give us the negative 14 okay then we went further there, okay? Bye.